Hello, I'm back with my QM35 Pro and in this video I will show you how to properly balance the mount and make a polar alignment. I will review also the performance of the QM35 Pro in tracking the moon and the planets. Uh, before we begin, I will show you also closer. What uh, do you also need is uh, to insert correctly the cable that goes into the declination motor. Yes, you'll need to insert it this way because the motors are not sealed here in the lower part so it can it could damage the cable. You can see here my external power generator and it works fine. It can also charge your phone, your do heaters, your laptop while it's charging the mount. It's a very good choice uh, for the AQM35 Pro mount. I would have liked also the possibility to use batteries, but you do need an external power supply. And this little small, uh, small gadget here, the polar illuminator, it, was, it would have been nice to be integrated inside the polar scope, but uh, it is not a big problem. You just have to be careful not to lose it. So first I will show you how to properly balance your uh, telescope like my 8080 apochromatic refractor uh, first you need to find a good position for the weight uh, so if I lose this clutch here I've noticed somewhere close to the middle is good for my weight here my 8080 and my Nikon uh, with also with the reducer corrector and uh, it's a good position. It also holds and works very fine with uh, guiding scope and uh, guiding camera. I, uh, you can lower this weight here. If you go too low, like this, it will be too heavy on the west side. Yes, it will be too, too heavy, you see? Too heavy. It, if you go close to the middle, it will still be balanced but heavier still on the west and if you go with in uh, on the around the middle it will be, be balanced and about one hand away of the top of the counterweight bar the end of the counterweight bar so i've noticed uh, about a little bit closer i did test it i had less errors and longer exposure, I could make longer exposures, about four fingers and a little and a half from uh, the edge of uh, the higher edge of the counterweight bar. And in this position, so close to the middle, I've got very good results with the AQM35 Pro. And of course with my weight, my, this telescope and my camera, my field flattener, and uh, guiding scope or a finder scope. So uh, now, after uh, you checked uh, if it's balanced in the area axis, you must uh, balance it in declination. For this, you must move the rings first, uh, take down the telescope, move the rings higher here on the mounting plate, about five centimeters, unscrew these bolts and uh, screw back the ring, this ring, the first one. After you have done this, you can put correctly the telescope and balance it in declination because uh, first when you took the telescope from the suitcase the rings was uh, they are higher about five centimeters here and with the weight if you put a heavier camera and want to do astrophotography then you need to balance it correctly so you need to push the telescope a little higher uh, in order to do so and and uh, to do this you need first to move the rings after you did move the rings here then you see it's properly balanced also in declination. Okay, so this is how you will balance a telescope like the 880 on the AQM35 Pro. You also need to check and uh, level the mount first using this bubble level 
it's uh, not difficult but if you are alone it will be a little harder with the legs because it's a heavier tripod now i will continue with the next part of the video and i will show you how to polar align the aqm35 pro i did level the mount so i'm recording now with the phone in order to show you how uh, the bubble level should be you can see that it's uh, in center uh, and uh, it's very important to have a to level the mount uh, well because uh, will uh, affect your polar alignment if you don't so uh, this is the first step after you did level the mount you should uh, also set the correct latitude in degrees for the location you are at you can find uh, your coordinates on any application with GPS, uh, you can use the Polar Finder application or any other applications that uh, will show you your uh, current uh, latitude. And uh, after you have also checked this and uh, you are sure that it is, uh, it is correct, you can uh, then move uh, on with uh, the Polar alignment. I also checked, so the mount is orientated north and I can see Polaris in the polar finder and uh, now I can move forward to align the mount uh, now I will show you how to polar align the AQM35 Pro first uh, I will uh, take the telescope of the mount and the weight because it will be much easier to align without having uh, a lot of weight on the mount so uh, I will uh, remove the telescope Okay, so now I've took the telescope and I'll leave it here on the table like this now I have to remove the weight you can also align with the weight and telescope on but it will be harder so what I do like on this mount is uh, the stability because I can put the telescope and the weight and uh, the other accessories, guiding scope or guiding camera after without having uh, problems with the alignment the star will remain in the polar scope so uh, I did test it a few times and it remained in the same position of course you need to be gentle how you, uh, you put the weight on the mount and also it's, I noticed it has more stability, the tripod if you are on uh, on the ground so if you are on the ground it will be more stable than on concrete because uh, the legs very important the legs can uh, enter a little into the earth you will uh, put some pressure on and you'll have extra stability okay so now i will take off the weight Okay, counterweight bar I will leave it on, uh, so I have already my polar illuminator, uh, you can operate here, you can slide this from off to on, and it has a slider here for intensity of the luminosity, to uh, set up the luminosity, how intense uh, you want it to be. I usually let it at maximum or close to maximum so uh, after I have the mount without the weight and uh, it's easy to work with I will uh, start my uh, application uh, that I use for uh, aligning to Polaris so uh, I use Polar Finder for this 
it's a very nice free app. I've did test another app, but uh, still Polar Finder, even if it's free, it works best. I'm, I'm really pleased with this application. So you can see here, it has a reticle like your um, Skywatcher AQM35 Pro mount. Uh, I will turn the light uh, a little in order to guide the position of the uh, mount to have Polaris uh, close to the reticle. So after that I will use the azimuth bolts and here the altitude bolts to get a precise alignment. Okay, so now I'm ready to align. I will loosen up here the clutch for the air axis and I will the cables I should have removed the cables can can be a little obstacle sometimes can get here in the altitude knobs can obstruct them now I'm setting uh, the reticle so zero is up and the line is uh, perpendicular with the ground okay so zero is up after this I will tighten the clutch and I will use the altitude knobs here and then the azimuth knobs okay so we are very close I do have to tighten the knobs also but you can get a precise alignment with the knobs so I've tightened the knobs and now we have Polaris aligned like in the image on the Polar Finder app. So after you've after you've done this step and you did the line, you will just go to check it. So the alignment looks good. I will uh, lower back the air axis. I will check here again. Yes, it looks good. And I tight, uh, tight it back. Now I'm, I did tight back the air axis. So this was the polar alignment of the AQM35 Pro. It's, uh, I've noticed it's a, it's a little bit harder uh, because you have to stay on your knees, but I did manage also with a chair. I recommend a small chair if you want to do it like this, but it's safer if you stay on the ground then on the chair because you might not have the a good position when uh, viewing uh, Polaris to the polar scope. So uh, after you align, you can uh, put your telescope back in and await. And you can start uh, also a one, two or three star alignment or you can go without any star alignment to record or make photos of the moon. So let's uh, I will uh, mount the telescope back and my camera and then we'll uh, move on with the next part.